Hey, this is Carrie Lane and I am live at the Crunchyroll HQ and we're going to get a tour of this amazing space. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about this awesome room we're in right now. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Adam Shee. I'm the director of events of our Crunchyroll and uh, we do cool events, <laughs> conventions here like Anime X or here at Crunchyroll HQ. We actually do this really cool little offsite. This time it's our first time ever doing anything like this. And you're actually currently standing in one of our, our more popular spots, which is the Oron High School Host Club. Well, oh, sorry. The My Hero Academia host club. Inspired by yes, similar exactly. concepts. Sure, concept. yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of all these anime yeah. host clubs, you can't tell. Uh, and actually, we'll, we'll come over and give me some of the hosts real Let's quick. go take a look. Yeah. They've been hosting people all, all day, basically. Yay. Let's go this and they caught them right in a nice little yeah. break. I am not even So what are you kids up yes. to? I, I heard you were just trying to have a friendly game here, but I, I think Uranica, like seriously, just use, you know, we're on the court. And if you use your court, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can just let you win. Like, I feel bad. Like, I'm not even trying yet. <laughs> Letting someone win is not necessarily heroism, but she's not, she's not cheating. You're just use your cord. We, will, no, no, we, we will leave you to the world world this out. <laughs> Kids, right? No. <laughs> they will be there for a long time. Um, so actually, real quick, before we leave this space, so there's um, different hosts here when people come and arrive. Um, we have tables set up. So what happens when somebody comes here to check out this space? Yeah, first and how do they do it? How do they do it? Basically, they have a wonderful reservation system. So you and if, like four friends come up here and oh, get a reservation like yeah. you would for dinner. Mm -hmm. And then you just come in here and you get in this, uh, a seat right here. We get treated, some snacks, and then basically these wonderful guys start, here, start playing games and interact interacting with you, just like you're actually part of the going to school with the guys from UA. Okay, so yeah, it's a variety of different things here. So basically, and they're here for about 15, 20 minutes and get photo times and all their wonderful moments there. Okay. So yeah. Very cool. And then um, where do they make, do you know where the registration is to let people know where they can right sign up? Right in front of the door. Oh, perfect. Exactly. That's where you go sign up. Yep. Uh, yeah. And you wanted to show us Absolutely, the rest of the space. Absolutely, because we have a whole bunch more to Ooh, do. Boy. So mind your step. And we're stepping down. Um, we're also at the conga room at LA Live. So that's how you come get here. There is a security person downstairs. That's where you first check in. You'll see the giant crunchy roll, uh, like step and repeat, which is the banner. They do a quick little bag check and then you come on upstairs. Oh, actually here, let's look at this. We got a great uh, window, window wrap? Window yeah. Wrap. yeah, yeah. you got it. It's a big window wrap, so you can clearly see when you walk up and go, you check in right here. It's really, really yes. obvious and clear. Cool. Yeah. We have so much going on, like you might see right behind us yeah, here. what's going on? Basically, we've been doing state events all day long, all for the last three days. It's actually our final day here. And uh, basically, right now we have the producers from an anime we just announced for summer called Angels of Death. Mm -hmm. really, really oh, yes, you did the trailer for that the other day at the exactly. panel. This one looks good and dark. So, super excited for that. I'm like, I'm not really into the horror that much, but when okay. I saw that trailer, I was like, I'm watching this. Yes. So, yeah, we've had uh, Freddie Wong from our Anime Crimes Division up here, the uh, podcaster's Giant Bomb. We had, earlier today, we had a big crowd for um, the uh, Ace Attorneys. They, sh they showed off a trailer for season two. There's a lot of things going on, too. And if you follow me this way, let's this, go take a look. Sorry. Yeah, we have tons of um, swag. There's also wonderful bartenders doing a wonderful job. Oh, uh, we have some fun themed drinks. So we have the Crunchyroll, the Mana Drop, and the Oishi. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> really. How it's hot out there. So we're an oasis for everything you really, really need here. You come in here, we got an AC, we've got anime, oh, I call it characters going on this. We've got some nice drinks. It's all covered in all different points. And if you follow this way, I'll show you some of the coolest games and swag we have. We have a nice bright light from outside behind us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, let's go to uh, the gaming lounge, yes? Absolutely. Let's all walk right. up here through this first lounge here where we've got, watch your step up. Also watch your step. Yes. We have a uh, Giant Connect 4, we've got Jenga, and you're going to see swag everywhere. It's kind of our big thing we're doing now. What we have? Posters and pins and coasters and let's get you that bracelet. Yay! Here we go, wait. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, oh. Almost. Oh. <laughs> There we go. It's on camera. It's like, oh no, I'm not exactly, gonna do it. Exactly. Uh, so this is for Verve, which was also at your panel. Yes, absolutely. Verve is our, our pop culture sh um, sister streaming service, where it has Crunchyroll and Funimation and Rooster Teeth and Mondo and everything under the sun, all under one roof. Okay. So basically, if you like anime and anything else, you should get a Verve subscription. Yeah. Yep. No, totally. I, oh, what else? We got more stuff here. More stuff over here. We have this entire room over here is just gaming. So basically we've got the you know, Mario Kart, we've got Street Fighter, we've got Dragon Ball Fighters, which is the hottest new um, um, game that's going on right now for fighting games like that too. 
And then let's see what we call you know, iPad setups or mobile stations for all the new hotness and like that. Ooh, and I see you have more swag along the ledge. You can't walk five feet without seeing swag anywhere <laughs> in this whole place. Everywhere is swag city. Who doesn't love swag exactly. and Actually, swag. let's peek in there real Please. quick and then we'll definitely use the light because yeah, it's yeah. a bit dark. It's dark and fun. Moody, mood lighting. Exactly, mood lighting. So yeah, we got Mario Kart. We basically got a whole bunch of different setups for our own game. We actually launched uh, what's up early this year, this Don Memo game. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yes, exactly. So it's a whole mobile game that's released now on uh, I, all your Apple and Android devices, cool. which all has been doing very, very well, based off the original anime. That she had the original Japanese voice actors that she came back on board to voice just the game themselves. Oh, yes, it's so much fun. And it also looks like if you're in here, if there's a panel going on uh, just out there, you it. don't have to miss it. All Absolutely. Right, cool. So no matter where you're at, there's a television where you can see yeah. all the things. I think we'll, we'll walk out and there's a little bit more to go check so, out. Yeah, we'll a little more space here. That's what we love about the Congaroo. They've been really great to us. Basically, all these little rooms everywhere you're going like that. So wherever your spot, it's got this really nice setup. And they're all just quite different. You've got this little room for gaming, watch your step, and little little um, areas just to take a seat and chill out because after a long day at Anime Expo, you really want to just rest up. Oh, yeah. So when we're here, we have this photo booth options. Basically, you can get your pictures taken with like different anime characters and things like that. And of course, more video games. And a fun view as well. Oh, the view is great. Basically, we're looking down on our friends at Funimations, basically yeah. rock climbing and everything they're doing out there. Those brave souls in 104 degree heat. Oh, we were just outside oh. walking over. Oh, this was a relief to walk in here. I'm like, oh, AC, hello. Please, and welcome. exactly. Yes. Yeah, if you're like, you're going back to the con, I'm like, I'm staying here as long as I can because yes. it's nice and cool. <laughs> cool. And then was there any other, uh, we pretty much covered it, right? That's pretty much all the That's things. great. Uh, now, what are uh, any other highlights that happened so far at the con? Any announcements you want to tell us? about yeah absolutely our biggest announcements i think you saw we were mentioning at the industry panel we announced a whole bunch of new shows for mm -hmm. um finish up from so we highlight a bunch of shows from summer we announced a few from fall yes uh yeah. one is particularly basically uh we call the the shield hero mm -hmm. uh basically we're actually going to be premiering the first episode of that at crunchyroll expo which is our big uh we call it expo going on in uh, san jose uh, san jose california september one through three so basically, well, it's going to be the first time anyone's going to see there in a the world premiere. So not even Japan's going to see it before you're there. So nice. nothing to miss out for that. Cool. And then, and does anybody, do you need a badge to attend this space? You do not. This is free to the public. You just got to come on in. The only problem is basically, hopefully you're watching this live close by because we close in one hour. Ah, okay. So what are the hours daily? Uh, they were yesterday, uh, was the Wednesday, yesterday, and today. So today's our last day. Oh, we're literally day. closing in an hour. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's what happened here that yeah. you need to come for next time if yep. you didn't know and didn't come by. But if you didn't make it to uh, this, we have three things still going on actually inside Anime Expo. Ooh. We have uh, right in the exhibit hall, we have a giant booth. There's the first orange thing you see when you walk in the door. Yeah. Merch galore, including uh, what we call exclusives. And you also pre-order our brand new Crunchyroll Hime mascot yeah. figure. Oh, it looks beautiful. We saw that as well. The thing that's great, too, is there's like a whole store section. Yep. It's not just, you know, you walk up to the booth and point and want yep. it. It's a whole like browsing aisles and different shirts. And you have some, you also have exclusives yep. this time, uh, this year too, right? We have, we have a variety of exclusives, like between 15 different exclusives, including water bottles, t-shirts, lanyards, yeah. everything under the sun. And yeah, we want to create a shopping experience. You're coming here and you're spending good money on anime merch. We want you to actually have a good time while you're doing that. Yeah. So that's one of the big things for us. Cool. And over in the West Hall lobby, we also have our premium rewards area, because if you're a Crunchyroll or a premium member, basically you're going to get come up here and get this really cool like a pull string backpack but could be your choice between my hair academia dragon ball super ancient magus bride uh, and black clover as well as a mystery pin you don't know what you're going to get but it's going to be cool they're really cute too they're you showed cute. pictures of yes. them at the, thing. Uh, at the panel they had yes. some pictures and they're adorable and you're just going to have to go look at them to find out what they are aha uh -huh. ah we get to yes. look at one it's one of the uh, shiny oh, shiny cute. ones and exactly. sparkles we have the rare shiny ones also if you're very very lucky yeah so it's a variety of those ones too and right next to that area basically we have our ver um, art gallery. Yes, which we is, did see that one. You did see that one? Oh, that's It's so gorgeous. Walk in there, you just walk on in. There wasn't really a wait or anything. Nope, nope. This is walk on in, take all the pictures you want. We have a giant Verve logo you can you know, make your mark yes. on because we want to say we all the fans that. is yours. Good. I'm happy you did. So you can mark it. It's so fun. And like, see if you can spot our name on there. Mm, hashtag yeah. find it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. so we still have those three things going on yes. all the rest of the convention cool. still. Um, what made you think to have like an art gallery like that? I mean, there's obviously other kind of art galleries, but uh, with Verve, like why do an art gallery? 
Verve basically has a particular style to it, different than outside of anime. And basically, basically Verve is also only about a year and a half old. Mm -hmm. So we basically want to make it like a brand statement. Because all day long, we could say, I'll tell you how awesome the channel is, and here's your yeah. price point. But that's just sales. And basically, we want, like, like Crunchyroll, we want Verve to become a brand people love and enjoy as a brand. So we said, let's put it out there as this cool experience where people go, what is Verve? And they have this great feeling of what Verve is. So the whole idea was, if someone could walk into Verve, what would it feel like? And that's what the art gallery is symbolizes. I like that. That's yeah. a great description. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> and then um, anything else that was new this year that you're really proud of that Country will decide? I mean, obviously the off-site is awesome. Oh, thank you. This is brand new. This is, uh, I've attended Anime Expo for numerous years. And it's very exciting to have kind of like an off-site chill space because it gets so crowded at the convention center. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, basically just get coming away from this convention and take a break. This is basically what we're all about. But outside of that, basically I'll go back to Crunchyroll Expo. Mm -hmm. It's our second year is this year ever. Yeah. And last year we got um, over 16,000 people, which at the time was largest uh, first year AnimeCon mm -hmm. ever. Nice. And it was in, thank you. And it was in Santa Clara, California. And we maxed out the space in wow. one year. So we had to move to a much larger convention center. So we're really excited for that. We got a ton of different guests from like My Hero uh, Academia voice actors coming. Mm -hmm. And we've got basically the, the creator of Bananya, our little cat banana character, yes. coming as well. So uh, we have a wide variety of new and exciting announcements to, uh, to uh, go uh, uh, announce to as well soon. Cool. And then, I mean, I know this is kind of the end day of it, but it was nice that the HQ is not that far away, but oh, it's no. removed enough. It's just far enough away to basically be part, um, you know, what we call, you're not waiting in crowds to get here, yes. but also it's just close enough where you're like, yep. I'm just going to go there after a panel or before yeah. I go to get some lunch or something like that. Now for the uh, Crunchyroll Expo, when, uh, I mean, you mentioned when it is, where can people find out more information and how to get their own tickets? Perfect. Uh, CrunchyrollExpo.com is basically where you, where you can get more information, buy our tickets, and this week we're doing special discount for anyone who's watching at home type in uh, CRX 2018 into when you buy tickets you get five bucks off every ticket if it's not a kid's ticket nice yep. cool and is there anything else you'd like to add um, keep watching anime keep enjoying it um, and we'll keep making it because really you, the fans are the reason we get to do all this wonderful things and where can people find out more about you and follow you online oh I'm, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at new maverick n-e-u maverick so I'm really easy to find there, and I tweet about all the random things in the world, including anime sometimes. Cool. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And I'm Carrie Lane with AfterBuzz TV. Thank you for watching.